it's Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I am very pleased to be able to present to you now the finished Puzzled Bird series. So the way this started was I actually was inspired by a an article on uh, Somerset Studio where they had used a puzzle and a completely different project, but just the idea of using a puzzle is what got me started. And I found this Wild Birds of North America puzzle, and this is what it looked like. And it had a bazillion pieces, and I put it together, and it took forever. <laughs> and then I extracted the individual birds from the puzzle, um, you know, to the best of my ability, glued the pieces together, and then I created assemblage pieces for each of the birds. And so I'm going to show you now, I think there are 17, let's see, three, four, seven, ten, yeah, 17. So there are 17 birds in total, there are 17 boards in total. And so I'm going to show those to you now, and here we go. Okay, and I also have, um, this is just a card series that talks about the individual birds. And um, one ex slight exception, but I found I have a card for each one of the birds that I have a board for. So those are going to come with. These are going to all go into my Etsy shop. And the card will come in. It tells you a little bit about the bird. So the first one is the Northern Cardinal. And so here's the Cardinal. He's got some fiber pieces back here and just some grungy fabric, some vintage buttons, some a key, more buttons. Um, this is also a key of sorts. It's a roller skating key. Um, a spring, a masonry hammer or nail, more grungy fabric, a little bit of stamping there. There's, looks like there's another key back here. This is, um, this is from the Prima Washi set. So this is actually a new piece. Um, and I'm not sure what that one is from, but it's a mix of mostly vintage pieces and new pieces, and that is the Cardinal. The Northern Cardinal, I guess is what technically. Okay, next up is the Indigo Bunting, and this is the Indigo Bunting. This has a stamped metal piece back here, a few pieces from uh, Doily, some book page here in the very back. This is an old um, drawer pull. A piece of metal, buttons, more buttons, and just some rusted pieces. And this is from a wooden um, carpenter's tape measure. And so that is the indigo bunting. The first boards that I'm showing you, by the way, let's see, let me get the ruler out here. These are these are eight inch square. So there's, I think, six of them that are eight inch square, and then they go down from there. I think this, this is the largest size. Okay, the next one is the cedar waxwing. Pretty bird. And so this one has some netting in the back with some rusted fabric, or tea dyed, um, a hinge hanging off the side, a key, another washer. This is just a metal piece. Another one, another hinge, more fabric and some fibers back here in the back, some rusted fabric here, and then tea dyed fabric there. Another washer up there at the top, and that's the cedar wax wing. And his, his picture looks a little different here, but that's what he is. Okay, let me get these three out of the way. Bear with me because they don't, because um, of their dimension, they don't stack on top of each other very well. Okay, the next three, still eight by eight. We have, this one is, I think this is my favorite. This is the Baltimore Oreo, Oriole. This is the one, actually, I take that back. This is the one that I didn't have the correct card for. It's an Oriole, but it's, this is a Northern Oriole. I only had a card for a Baltimore Oriole. They look quite a bit alike, but a little slightly different. It's got some stamping on some fabric back here in the back, some actual twigs, some rusted washer, a beautiful porcelain piece, um, 
more twigs, more stamping, some rusted uh, cloth back there, book page in the very back. And all of them I started with the same base where I just used um, crackle paste and texture paste and sort of just had fun with the background and then used um, liquid acrylics and acrylic paints just to color them all. Slightly different, but um, pretty much the same. This is the house breast, or excuse me, rose breasted, I don't know how to say that, grosbeak, pretty bird. This has um, some stamped and embossed black, uh, clear on black back here in the back um, flowers. These are from Tim Holtz. Some more of the wood uh, carpenter's tape, an old key, another spring. This is the beginning piece of a metal uh, tape measure that you know that rolls up in the big roll and there's a coin back there more of that metal tape measure a couple numbers a clock hand and some cheesecloth in the very very back so that's the cross beak if I'm saying it correctly <laughs> this is the blue jay the blue jay has this is a vintage a hot water knob and another sort of skate key, another key, a couple of buttons, some more fabric back here in the back, some lace, some lace pieces, some fiber, another key, another washer, another knob, a vintage light bulb, and a couple more buttons. And so that is the Blue Jay. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And get the next set. Now this set has some slightly different sizes in it, so let me, let me set that over here. This goes this way. I just finished. This is one of the last ones I did. This one is seven by five and a half. This is the tufted titmouse. And I've got a couple letters on there, a P and an M. This is from an old, you know, like a drawer pull from the back. Same with this, a hinge, just some fibers down here. Another old, uh, this is a Tim Holtz um, disc spring, a metal piece. Here's another drawer pull, and that's that one. Tufted titmouse. Now these two are the, nope, they aren't the same. This one is smaller. This is, oh, he goes this way. This is the Eastern Blue Jay, and he is, turn the ruler around the right way, eight and, right at eight and a half by about six and a half. And all of these are um, MDF boards where the, I have not finished the back. I have not put any hangers on them. I have finished the sides pretty much. But this one has a coin that I colored with some alcohol ink, an optometrist lens, some old buttons, a metal corner. Um, this is a Tim Holtz piece. Another old buttons. This is a register key. Um, another old button. This is a slide frame in the back that I colored. Another piece of that wooden um, tape measure. And then just some blue. I added some blue um pebbles in there and some book page in the back and so that's that one some of these were done a long time ago i don't even remember when i started this project but it was earlier in the year okay this is if you go sideways this is the american robin and he has in the very back some grungy fabric rusted fabrics and some this feels like it's from a the spine of a book it's that the mole from a spine of the book. This is a wooden drawer piece here, metal piece, couple of rusted metal piece. This is um, the insides of a pocket watch, um, rusted washer, old vintage button, another washer, another wood piece, another optometrist lens, um, another button, some more rust, another one of those light bulb, and another one of those registered keys. So that's that one. Okay, I'm gonna get these out of the way. All right, next set is, this is also one I just finished last night. 
I was really happy the way it turned out. This is the Downy Woodpecker. There's a woodpecker. Nail, a screw, a vintage button. I don't know what that is. A metal piece. I added the brads. Um, another optometrist piece. This is a different kind, and you can see there's still a little white under there because it's still drying. This is um, uh, just a, a um, metal <laughs> conductor piece that I added some Seth After's baked texture on top of. And I think that's, uh, I think I used Rusty Hinge. Another drawer piece and another drawer pull, some buttons and a knob. And that's that one. Okay, this one. This one is the house wren. And the wren is five and a half by seven. And it's got a pocket watch chain hanging on it, a vintage, uh, another one of those rusted hammer uh, masonry nails, a little pocket watch vial, a key, another part from a pocket watch, some fibers. These are all just a paper fiber in the background. And that is the hen, wren, house wren. <laughs> Okay, the next one is, okay, now we start the square ones, and I think the rest of these are all, um, that's about five and three quarters by five and three quarters inch square. This is also one of the last ones I finished. Um, this says art is, is the answer. It's a Prima marketing washer made to look old. Um, then there's some old Fabric. Uh, this is actually from this piece of cloth. It's a uh, feed sack fabric, a screw, an old key, and then more of that metal tape measure in the back there. And then this is, um, this is I think, a cow tag, an ear tag. But I really liked the way that one worked out. And this is the Dark Eyed Junko. Junko? Junko? I don't know how to pronounce them. Okay. And then here's two more of that same size. The first one is the house wren. And it's got some metal pieces back here, a washer, another one of those slide frames that I've colored, a rusted paper clip, some doily and some book page back here in the back. And then another piece from the um, wooden carpenter's tape measure. And then this is, this is the black capped chickpea. Cute. More fiber. This has a little bit of sewing on it down here and it wraps around. Another vintage knob and a drawer pull, a little number five. This is a clock hand. And this is, um, this is an old metal piece from an old Tim Holtz set. And then there's a vintage coin back here and another um, like ear tag there. Cute. Okay. Then we have, let's see, he goes this way. This is the yellow warbler and he's got some colored um, cheesecloth in the back, some of that yellow, some of the green. This says create magic. It's another one of the um, Prima washers from the washer set. A number tag here. Um, in, with an imprint on it, a vintage key, buttons, another rusted metal piece, and some book page in the back as well. That's that one. And then we have, excuse me for reaching. Let's see, he goes this way. This is the American Goldfinch, and he's got some old pin nibs up at the top, just this rusted metal piece. Butterfly. This is actually a casino chip back here in the back. More of that wood. I really liked using the, the wood. And I had a couple different ones that I used. You can tell the colors are slightly different. Um, it's the wood ruler. And I would just sort of figure out about what length I want and just snap it off. And so you get that nice rough edge. Another vintage light bulb here. And that's that one. And the very last one is... <laughs> 
it's a little tiny guy. This one is mm, not quite, so three and three quarters inch square, uh, three by four. So it's about four by four square, and it's the hummingbird. And he's got a little key, some fibers, some book page. There's a spring. There's just a little number that I put some uh, wax on. And he's just got some fabric back there. And that is the hummingbird. And that's it. That is the end um, of the Puzzled Bird series. I'm really excited that, that I that I got them done and I'm just really pleased with the way they all turned out. So I will be posting these in my Etsy shop. Um, there, like I said, there are 17 of them and uh, I'll post them by the name of the bird and then pictures of course of these. But if anybody has any interest, of course, just let me know. Meanwhile, um, yeah, I guess this, this um, particular project is Ah, put to rest, and now I have ideas for starting some other ones. So, <laughs> so I will be back. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.